Hello, Facebook, YouTube. Uh, the topic of my message, I think people, this is going to be a quite interesting, quite interesting message that's going to give you a great revelation. This is a great revelation right here. The type of the message is who is fixing your heart? Who is fixing the reality is who is fixing your heart? Now watch this. <laughs> Ooh, buckle your seatbelts for this one. Okay, who is fixing your heart? Now, let's say you come up to me and say, Mac, what's wrong with my heart? Why my heart keeps hurting? Why my heart keeps getting broken? Why does my heart keep messing up? Why, Mac? Why? Why? You want the answer? Well, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some tools. I'm going to take a wrench, and I'm going to take a hammer, and I'm going to take a nail, and I'm going to uh, hand, hand this wrench and this hammer and nail to you. I'm, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to fix your heart. And you're going to probably look at me strange, but I'm, but I'm, I really, that I'm asking you to fix your heart. And of course, I'm just going to speak for you. Say, Mac, I can't use a hammer. I can't use a wrench. I can't use no nails to fix my heart. But the question is, can you fix your heart? Can you? Well, you know, you'd be like, uh, no, nah, well, not with this, not with this hammer, not with this wrench, not with this nail. It's like, okay, well, if you can't do it with your hammer, wrench, and nail, guess what you've been doing for quite a long time in your life? Trying to fix your own heart by your own knowledge, by what you think is right for you, and what, why, more likely, why, what, 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 what you think is right for your flesh, mainly. <laughs> you do these ideas that, you know, the earth cooked up for you, the world cooked up for you, and you try to fix your heart with those ideas. And, and guess what? And watch this. When you, if you do start fixing your heart with these, you know, ranch and these hammers and stuff like that, guess what it's going to do if you try to start doing that? It's going to hurt. Yeah, it's going to hurt trying to put a nail and put a ranch inside your heart. Like, you know, trying to bam, bam, bam. It will hurt. Yeah, that will hurt in the natural. But guess what? In the spiritual, is going on when you do your idea. Oh, that's what you're doing. You're hurting your heart. Yeah, when you're trying to fix your heart according to earthly ideas concerning the flesh. Now, all right. Let's, I'm going to tell you, say, well, since you're hurting, give these tools to somebody else, you know. Give the, the hammer and the wrench and, you know, nail to somebody else. And ask them to fix your heart. Well, I said, Mac, that's silly, that's stupid. Uh, letting somebody else fix my heart. Oh, well, really? Well, why do you listen to people that don't know how to fix their own heart to... You getting advice from them, and they don't know, know how, they don't know how to fix their own heart, but they're trying to fix your heart. Oh, because they are operating according to the knowledge of men, carnal knowledge of men that they hear, you know, in the TV and the radio and and men solutions, you know. Uh, yeah, they are listening to them, and they're going to give you some of their advice too. Yeah, and you ask people to fix your heart, and now if they try to him or nailing you or use a wrench on you how would that do would it it will hurt yeah it will hurt too you get hurt listen to other people now I'm going to ask you well since it's certified that you understand that you can't fix your heart they can't fix your heart I got a great idea why won't you let you know the creator that created your heart fix your heart you like, hmm, that sounds like a great idea. Let, let's try that. And then all of a sudden, the Creator gives you instructions according to your Word of God. And all of a sudden, whoa, whoa. You're like, whoa, whoa. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You mean I have to, you know, uh, do the things that I... 
don't I have to do what I don't want to do anymore? So yeah, yeah, you got to you got to stop doing what you want to do anymore concerning your flesh and start doing what the spirit does. Well, I don't know about that doing all that, you know, and what I want to do and you know, that sounds, you know, you know, far fetched for for me because it's, you know, in the flesh, you know, me myself and I thing, you know, it's all about me and and, and, and you associate yourself to the flesh, but yet a spiritual God blew breath inside of you and made you a living soul, but you don't want to follow his rules mm. or that, you know, wants to get your heart repaired. Yeah, you know, you, you have to listen to the word of God. I got to listen to the word of God. I got to read it too, and I got to apply it. And that's supposed to fix my heart. I don't know about that, Mac. How, how can I? I need to spend time, you know, appeasing my flesh and doing all other stuff. I don't know about making room to, you know, fix this, do that, and, you know, get my heart fixed like that. I, I think I won't have no time for that. Oh, well, um, I guess you're going to go get back that you're going to pick up those uh, ranch and hammer and nails and try to fix your heart back and start listening to men again to ask them to fix your heart back that you know operating in the system of lust and you know whatever they can get out of the situation not really about you know you and you having a repaired heart uh yeah go back to listen to them you know but here's the state here's the case you know what i'm saying do you really want your heart fixed you know what i'm saying do you or do you want what you want or not receive what you need you know because only like what god said he can only supply every need in your life if you want to fix heart he can fix it but you're gonna have to allow his word of god and you know to fix it and now you know and in, in in this case a scenario you know of getting your heart fixed you're gonna start finding yourself being with people that wants to fix their heart concerning letting Jesus fix it. You know the song, I want Jesus to fix my heart. You got to start hanging around with people that want Jesus to fix their heart. You know what I'm saying? Or want Jesus to repair their heart, not hanging out with people that wants to keep breaking their hearts, operating in a lustful nature and the flesh, you know, that keeps nailing and hitting the ratchet and hitting the hammer on their heart and thinking that they're going to repair it, but they're still damaging it and damaging it and damaging it and damaging it. And you know what? I'm going to tell you this. See, watch this. And it's all about the more you do it. What about, what, what about the more you trying to fix your heart with these, you know, uh, the world system? What, what more you do it, how much damage are you doing to yourself? How? What about the how factor? How much damage are you doing to yourself that you cannot even function as a human being anymore to be, you know, be a, be a normal human being, but you're a wild and crazy monster getting angry at everybody that say something negative to you, look at negative to you, you know, everybody around you, you quit to get mad and get a nasty attitude and keep getting all kind of crazy and mad and frustrated and fighting everybody and fooling around with everybody that got all kind of diseases and you know you keep in this cycle of continue how long are you allowing this saga to continue will bring damage to you no won't fix it will bring damage to you that you got to consider concerning who is fixing your heart now look and the thing is, what do you care about? Do you care about your life? And do you care about the life of others around you concerning your family, your brothers and sisters, and the uh, kids that you have? And there, you, do you care about their life too? Not just your own, you know what I'm saying? What do you, do you really want to re, uh, repair, you know? Do you want your heart repaired for the sake of them too? So that is the question on do you want your heart fixed or not? So only you will you will you will perform the either or whether I you know tell you the truth or tell you a lie or not. You're gonna perform either or, and you know your choice concerning your actions will 
you know, determine uh, you're going to see, you're going to live another day or die another day. You know what I'm saying? Die the next day. That's how it works in life. That's the rules. And because, of course, the wages of sin is death and the gift of God is eternal life. That's what Paul said in, you know, Romans 6 and 23. And that's how it works. All right. That's the message. I hope you got the understanding and I hope you got the right person fixing your heart. But I would just want to leave this, you know, what King David says. It's better to trust in the Lord to place your confidence in man. All right. I, you saw I got the religious thing, you know, going on. All right. To God be glory, him forever and ever. In Jesus' name. Amen.